Hey fellow colleagues from the sunny south of France, this is Skipping Summer. Today's topic is about the IoT connectivity pricing. While I've been working quite extensively the last decade with the different and uh, various uh, connectivity providers, there are a few things to understand before selecting the right connectivity partner with the right connectivity pricing for your needs. Few simple questions will help you in this selection process, like do I need my SIM data connected locally or globally? Is my IoT device moving or static? And thirdly, is there a possibility that in the lifetime of my IoT device, I might need to change to another connectivity provider? I think the latter one is kind of obvious. I think everybody would like to have an insurance policy to change the connectivity provider without changing the physical SIM card in front of unexpected challenges, right? But the first two questions will dictate more about your needs for mono-operator or multi-operator connectivity provider. The single most price-affecting reason in the question is about the needed data mount per month per SIM card. This said, without further ado, let's dive into the topic. Various connectivity providers offers different kind of pricing options. Firstly, there are fixed monthly costs. These fixed monthly costs are related to the SIM management, network management, and the connectivity profiles related to the SIM card itself. Very often those monthly costs come even with the longer term, one year, two year contractual engagement. So carefully make your due diligence before engaging into the longer term contracts, which these days also comes very often without any possibility to change the connectivity provider to another one without changing the physical SIM card itself. Secondly, there are so-called minimum monthly consumption fees. This one is particularly important to keep low, specifically if your own data connected units are low, so that you will avoid actually paying too much about the data, which is not used at all. Thirdly, some connectivity providers are also offering so-called pooled data offerings. Nevertheless, these offerings are very often linked to the higher data volumes and the higher SIM volumes itself. Where you want to pay attention is really to look for paper use, paper grow offerings, where you do not pay for any unneeded data usage itself. As a generic rule, should your monthly data needs be in the lower end, let's say for tens, few tens of megabytes, then look for the low monthly fees. Even if you pay a little bit more for the data, it is well compensated with the lower monthly fees. On the other hand side, if your data needs are on the high end side, hundreds of megabytes, gigabytes, even terabytes, then of course the data connectivity cost is the most important selection factor. And remember, the bitterness of poor service remains long after the sweetness of low price is forgotten. So do you think my today's video brought you some value? Do consider to like it, do consider to subscribe to my channel. Below in the description part there is a lot of additional information for you to check. And as always, as always, keep safe. See you soon. Bye-bye.